All right, guys, we're here talking about noodling behind the scenes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta pick up Peter and Kevin tomorrow, so we're getting there early today. We're just gonna be chilling, taking some video of the van, behind the scenes stuff, and uh, get ready to go noodling. Welcome to Mikasa. We uh, we are unpacking gear. We're going to be setting stuff up and emptying cards, charging batteries for in the morning. We're here with uh, Scott. He's our main camera guy, dude, person. And we've got Graham. He is Scott's brother, and he is in production and C cam operator. And we got Kevin Beasley. He is our main producer. Welcome, guys. Yeah, Thank you. awesome. Sweet. So you ready to talk about noodling? Let's talk noodling. I, so. I want to know, did you know what noodling was before we decided to do this trip? I had heard of it, but I didn't, I don't think I fully realized what it was, but I had heard of people doing it. I knew you were catching catfish, but I didn't know the process. You know? I had no idea you had to stick your hand deep, like all the way to your shoulder. You thought it was just... Yeah, like you just, I don't even know what I thought, but right. not that. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was intense. I mean, let's talk about the people, okay? We got <laughs> yeah. the name of the, we, we joined a tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, and we went to the Bite Me Noodling Tournament. Bite Me Noodling Tournament. <laughs> and you and follow we, Oklahoma. And, yep. we, and we went with a team called Swamp Donkey. Mm. Mm. Swamp Donkey. Yeah, Which I didn't, that I didn't get the whole Bite Me thing for the first two days we were yeah. there. I was like, <laughs> I was like what? Why would you write Bite Me everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. Bite Me, it was a reference to, I think, the catfish. Yes, <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Just to help you out there. Uh, All right, so talk to us about this kid that showed up at the boat oh, the man. first night. This is my favorite story for a couple of reasons. One is it motivated me to actually stick my hand in a hole. Because, I mean, I'm the producer and do logistics, and I don't always do the adventures. And I thought, you know, I might skip this one. Because, I mean, it's pretty crazy. So, But we're, we get there the first day, and uh, 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 Marion is training at, uh, the guys how to stick their hand underneath the hole in the boat dock. And there's this little kid up there. You would, like, be four foot off the shore from kids swimming around and fishing and playing and catch, like, a 25-pound cat. Right, right. they're right there really, amongst That us. was really odd. So the kid um, said, hey, Marion said, hey, kid, you caught anything? He's like, yeah, I caught one earlier, but he got away, and it was a big one. And Marion goes around the boat dock and says, I know where he's at. He's in this hole right here. This is Grayson. <laughs> and uh, we met Grayson on the bank over here fishing with a pole. And we said, hey, you want to stick your hand in this hole? Hey, and he God, said, yes, sir. Here. And his mom and dad said he was all right. <laughs> so <laughs> props to you, brother. How old are you? Come on, 13, 13 right. years old. No questions asked. He just rips his hand, he gets bit and jerks it out and screams, but... <laughs> right, so, you know... <laughs> He'll bleed really bad! What? 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 Well, you just felt the thunder. Oh, yeah, that me, was a, this is the last one we got. This feels like sandpaper. You know? I am swimming. That was that fish right, you had a hold of on your pole a while ago. Oh, you no. want him? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want him. got my hand. It's bleeding yeah, bad. Yeah, got blood. <laughs> Who's next? You watch this 10-year-old kid do that, and you think, I've got to do this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let a 10-year-old kid. Hesitate. He just no. went straight in. Oh. So, like, um, you know, when we're actually out there, and you know that there's a fish underneath. Like, you can feel it. They call it thumping the rock with his tail or something. And so there's uh, all these big, burly Oklahoma guys, the swamp donkeys and Marion and and uh, our crew, and you just, it's peer pressure. You don't ask questions. We, we right. all caught some fish, and you're the producer. You're kind of sitting on a boat, running logistics, and Marion's like, this one's Kevin! Turn around, Kevin. We want to see all your fingers where you still got them. <laughs> <laughs> and man, you went down, and you stuck your hand in yeah. there and for, got it. First the first time, time I kind of go to here, and I got to do this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then I come up for air, and they said, you got to go I'm all funny. the way in. Can't find him. Well, you gotta stay down there a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> I can, man. Go to his leg, what do his foot? All right, ready? Yep. Follow it all the way down. You hit. You went right into the hole. Yeah, I was in there. Yeah, I know they love her. 
So literally, you can't see it now, but I had this big bruise. You got, you got scratched a little bit. Yeah. There was this big black bruise, like that's where my arm was in the hole. Yeah. And I feel I run my hand down the side of the catfish and then just. Oh, 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 I I All right. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, He's trying yeah. to get out. Back him up. Back him up. He's got him. They got him. You got him. <laughs> All right, Kevin, we got a fish. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> I got him. At you don't get to catch no bear. He's still. <laughs> <laughs> you got him? Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah hit him Damn. on the head. Hit him on the head. Bring it. Don't let go of him. Oh, oh, there ain't no 20. I don't know that if that little 10 year old boy went and just went out there and gone after him, if I would have done it. So. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that, uh, that he did because yeah. I would have. If you hadn't done it, there would have been nothing but shame and guilt for the rest of your life. But you come up and you have a big fish and you, you know, hold it up over your head and it just feels like life. It was unlike any adventure I've ever done. I think it was one of my favorite that I've ever done. Cool. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. absolutely. It was just so out there, and nobody's ever, you know, how many people have done it? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys can do it now because we've shown you how, mm -hmm. but it is, and we hooked you up with where to go. And yeah. I, would, I would say it's the most guy. accessible. You yeah. need nothing except right. the, the guts to walk out there right. and stick your hand in a hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta talk that. about the guy coming up with two fish. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. Most of the fishing was in about four feet of water, four to five feet of water. So you could stand up and, and get a breath and go down. And at certain times, there was, uh, we went in some deeper water, 10 or 12 feet. They had this machine. <laughs> I mean, literally, it looked like a generator. You yeah, get air from, compressor. It was an air compressor <laughs> from Home Depot. Oh, it was like a regular just air hose. Like, <laughs> And he puts on this mask and uh, he's like, quick! And he's like, bah, bah, and he just jumps down in the water. He puts a weighted belt on and he's gone. And uh, we're like, lots of these bu like, bubbles are coming up. Lots of bubbles. And I'm thinking, I mean, nobody's panicking, but I'm like, is he dying? I'm like, well, I mean, there's a lot of bubbles coming up. And all of a sudden, you know, they're, you know, all the other swamp donkeys are getting all, they're kind of, oh, he's getting a big one. Oh, yeah, he's getting bubbles. You know, like they could read the water or something. There was some air on a deep hole. It looks like he might have one. Here he comes up, he pops up, and all I see is fish. Just <laughs> that, about that long fish. Well, it turns out it was two fish. And he had taken a stringer down of uh, a rope, and he caught the first one, and then he tied it up, and then he caught the second one and tied it up, and he came out, and they called it the Oklahoma, Oklahoma double. double. That's the Oklahoma Double, right? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Remember when he came up on his dirty head? Yeah, yeah, he said that when he went down there, he grabbed the first one, pulled it out, and he starts tying it up so it doesn't get away from him while he's swimming up. And he said he felt the other one like slam in there. So as soon as he realized there was another one, he said he just stuck his head <laughs> in the hole and he tied the other one up and then reached his hand up in and then tied the second one up. And that's I mean, why when he kept dirt, I, mean, I, I would have run away. <laughs> Okay, so you guys shot this. Uh, we had three cameramen, um, you, Jackson, mm -hmm. you, um, and Dylan. Dylan, so we had four guys. <laughs> what were the challenges on this trip? Yeah, so typically what we'll do is for audio, everyone gets their own personal microphone, which is what we're doing right now. That's right. Everybody's got a pack. But with this episode, because all of it takes place underwater, we couldn't mic everyone, and so I was a little bit worried about audio because we're shooting with everything on the camera. One of the things that's making it hard is we can't lob anyone. So all our audio is coming off of this mic and the mic on that camera. I can't I can't believe you guys didn't trip. I mean you're in the <laughs> you're in yeah, the water no, with uh, crazy. my expensive cameras, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, well, dear God, I hope we have insurance on these things. But you guys didn't trip once no, crazy. in three days. I, Thank you. And we had a nice underwater yeah. camera that we rented. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do any underwater Way because it's instantly yeah. dark. You can see this All we could do is like very surface um, shots yeah. because of how, how murky it was. Right. As soon as you went under, it was, it was pitch black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. So Vince, well, on his first try, okay. they called him T-Rex. Oh, uh, yeah. T-Rex, okay? That means this right here. That doesn't mean raw. It's like this. Because Vince would go in the hole. So, so, so you're the guide, you're Cody. Mm -hmm. We'd go down together, and Cody's like, stick your, stick your, Vince would go like this, you know? 
And they were getting really annoyed with him because they were like, this is going to let him out of the hole. So uh, they started calling him T-Rex. And then finally they, they started doing, they just grab his hand and shove it in there and do this for him. And then he would always come up with the fish, like, turning the opposite <laughs> way like this. Yeah. It would be like, you got it! And he's like, he's like I, got it. I think I got it, you know? And they're holding the fish. It was awesome. But he did so good. I mean, yeah. I think he was out of his element a little bit. Who wasn't? We're all out of our element. Mm-hmm. Except for the swamp dogs. Did he they ever? Were in did realm. he ever get one by himself? Or yeah, he yeah, got two. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, he, he he didn't wrap up his legs around. Right, right, right. But he 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 had you know okay. he had his lower yeah. the suitcase handle. But, yeah. <laughs> so one thing that was a surprise to me is how aggressive their teeth are on those fish. Yeah. In the first day, they wouldn't let us wear. Um, gloves, right? They were like, you can't wear gloves. They were shaming us. Right, yeah. That's the teeth we're working with there. Yeah. This is just a little guy. Imagine a 30-pounder. There's got to be 500 teeth in there. Yeah, gloves on. <laughs> he's, saying, he's saying no gloves. It's not a glove. It's a helper. And the second day, they did let us wear gloves because they were wearing gloves. I'm like, what's this about? <laughs> so Spencer, being 26 years old and trying to be cool yeah. and tough, says, I'm not wearing gloves the whole trip. And I think it showed. <laughs> Been all night licking our wombs. Uh, would you guys? Would you guys do it again? Like, I am. Abs- I'm going back next year with mm-hmm. Marion. Okay. Marion's invited us back. Yeah. We're probably gonna have a, a round two for the Adventure Channel. Marion's lake was up, so we had to work with Swamp Dogs right, yeah. on their home turf to kind of uh, get this thing do you, done. Do yeah. you think you'd ever find yourself just out on a lake here in Tennessee and just be like, I'm gonna try it? Absolutely. So we just went camping and I was trying to teach my little siblings how to do it. So we were really? looking for holes. We didn't find any big holes and we didn't find any fish, but we were sticking our hands up in holes and stuff. Really? really? That's oh, awesome. Yeah. I will say I was down by the lake uh, a couple weeks ago, and you just find yourself looking like, ooh, that looks, <laughs> yeah. that looks good, that looks like a hole. You kind of like, you kind of start thinking in that, Oh, that looks good. Yeah, you know, that, that hole right there. I, I don't need to start thinking and talking that way when you look at these holes. So um, I definitely, uh, the new respect for adventure yeah. in the sense of, you know, I mentioned it in the show, you know, there's, there's, you think high adventure, you got to go somewhere far and wide, but there's crazy mm-hmm. cool adventure, yeah. just, even locally, I mean, right. in the rivers and lakes around Tennessee and in, you know, around in, in the south, yeah. Yeah, for sure, so. And people who really know their stuff they're, with yeah. whatever super the adventure cool. is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're good guys, they're, uh, we met their families, they came out to the tournament, we didn't win the tournament. Yep. I think those guys cheated. <laughs> I mean, those were big fish. Those were big fish. Did they want I think so. Yeah, I can't tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that concludes the BTS uh, behind the scenes for Noodling, episode two for the Groove Life Adventure Channel. If you guys are interested in becoming the next adventure on the next episode, please subscribe to our channel. Click the link in the bio and apply on our website, and you could be it. Keep grooving, guys.